Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. This ain't no fairy tale high school. This ain't no fairy tale story. Everything is real here. LW, see black people 98% of the time. You share pain, you share tears. We are lifelong friends forever. Teachers, please close our doors. We are in an active pause. I'm a senior, and it's make or break time for me. I'm about to get ready to leave high school. Y'all going to jail, because y'all in a stolen car. Come on, Roy! Oh, hey! Bad, a little bit. Basketball is just a small part of your life. The reality is, you wanting to be able to provide for your daughter, yeah, that's the whole purpose of you going to school. It's a lot on my plate. Like, I'm trying to contemplate my next move. Here we go. I was homeless, but what changed my life? Oh, Breonna Davis. Vernon. Yes. I'm here. He ended up staying with me and my mother. I've invited probably like 40, maybe 50. Thanks. I told you now. That's I told you if you quit smoking that weed around here, I would kill it. And I'm telling you right now, I got on my side that I'll. All right, that ain't right. Come on, come on. Chill out. No, she hadn't said anything to me. Right. Wow. Parents calling me to help turn their lights back on. I mean, how did we get to this point? Just do me a favor, go right now. You got like three minutes to get there. Do not get caught in the hallways past the tardy belt. We are in spring season and I'm operating on adrenaline because I know that there's an enormous amount of work to be done. Let's go. Changing school culture is not an easy task. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a challenge for me to see success now. Teachers, please close our doors. We are in an active hall suite. Teachers, please close all doors. We are in an active hall suite. Let's go. Let's go, auditorium. We got to go. We got to go to the auditorium. He's OK. Let's go. No excuses. Auditorium. Let's go. He was right there by the door. Auditorium. Let's go. Move. Where you going? Hey, if I got to come get you. Where you going? Back I ain't going to see you the rest of this week. OK. I'm walking. I'm trying to walk. Walk on in. You about to make it bad. Close the door, please. Today, you got caught. A lot of you are failing because you are late to class. That's my job to fix. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Is that clear? Suspensions are going to be issued today because I am not playing. 
She don't care. I care. I've never been suspended before, and I got a day because the teacher wanted to close the door. Hey, they got a day home, and I don't get no days home, because you know what I'm saying? I'm bossed up, you feel me? What's up, man? I wish everybody would do like you, man. Just do the right thing, the right thing to do. I want to be successful, and I will. That's my biggest goal. Get away from Orangeburg or South Carolina. That's just me. I don't want to be here. The sky is dealing. I'm going to make it easy because I'm going to be that one kid that do whatever it takes. You don't always get opportunities. Sometimes you have to make opportunities. It's not just going to come to you. You got to go get it. What's up, little guy? Good morning. Oh, I get a hug. Mr. Hall. Uh, good morning, Miss Matt. <laughs> I'll take that. I love you, too. I love you. Walk with you. Walk with you. Please. Why do you need me to walk with you? Please. <laughs> are you serious? All my no, kids are my babies. But with TJ, you know, I've really just, I've taken him on. What's up, Matt? What's up, class? What's up, Matt? It's cooking, bro. I just connected with him. OK, today I'm your teacher. My name is Anthony Mack. And I'll be teaching Algebra 1. <laughs> All right, guys, in your seat. Oh. Oh, you got to crash the party. He's a smart kid. I see this great, bright future, but he just needs this guidance. And he wants it. He wants it, too. I didn't know. Like, you see this part right here? You wanted that like that? Yeah. All right, I was just making sure. What color shoe screen are you putting in? White. White? Why you want to try the, rain purple? try the rainbow? Rainbow. Rainbow shoe screens. I like customizing shoes. If I don't want to be like nobody else, like having my own shoes, just walking down the aisle, they probably like, are those real? I want to have people thinking like, are those real? I mean, they are. Everybody don't normally dress up. People ask me why I dress up, because I got to look different. I want to look like a young man, a young gentleman at that. My swag is different. These were some basketball shoes. They not really all that. I just be messing up stuff sometimes. See how I got the little blue spots and stuff on there? Everybody's wondering how I did that. These are shoes my father made. They're valuable because my father made them, and he in prison right now. And I know that his hands was on these, so if I grab them, I'm like feeling his hand. Like I can feel him. He put all this stuff right here on. He told me he was doing like staples and stitch it up a little bit. I'm trying to find out how he did that. The part I really like is you got a pocket right here. I can drop drop some money down there, you know? We just keep this for like love. So when he get out, he'll be like, wow. I can just do whatever I want to do. Anything I want to do, I can just go do it. Doctor's appointment. It's gonna be today. 
once we go there, they'll probably just want to end up doing checking the baby's heartbeat. The next time when you go back, you'll be going back every week so that they can check on the baby. Yeah, because the baby's almost here. <laughs> yeah, y'all excited? Huh? Oh, you're not? Okay. <laughs> we're just so excited and we're ready for Harmony to arrive. Man, I'm thinking about having another party, and I'm not going to invite, you know, like I'm saying like a team party, where it's not like everybody's there, like family and stuff. They said that was your uncle? He was like, um, he said, if you have marijuana around my knees, then i kill you myself. See, he be doing the most. So I just looked back, and then he, t he grabbed my shoulder and he turned me around. He was like, I'm talking to you. I like, boy, you ain't, don't talk to me like that. Cause you don't know me and I don't know you. Right. Really, I didn't know what happened. I was upstairs. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I was upstairs. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that happened. Oh, no, it's not so far. I, I wouldn't put you as blame for that. Right, I know. But that makes me mad, cause my mama raised me to be like, everybody's the same. We was talking about like how she's trying to help the whole like racism thing by trying to get more white kids to come to OW. Like, I do see I do see a big segregation with the schools. It's messed up. Yeah. And so we're just trying to like blend it more. So. See, part of me, I think like, it, Orangeburg is just a small town. So like, it's just, it's not changing. I don't know, man. That's like, why would you choose to be separate? Hey, hey, hey. Go back in there. Tell them to hurry up. All right, thank you. Why do you have your hat on in the building? OK, well, wait till you get outside. Thank you very much. No, you're supposed to be in class. No, I'm not. I just came from COVID. When did you get back from COVID? Too late. When the bus, when the OK, bus so bus. where are you supposed to be? You're waiting to go to fourth bell? Yes. OK, all right, calm down. Pump your brakes. I'm just saying, like, why do you? But how long have you been back in the building? Just now. Okay. The bus just came. Little more effort would have gotten you a raise in your GPA. Algebra one, you have to pass. You can do better. Than I, that. I can. I am. Two points from a C. Now, why in this class do you have a sixty? I don't like switches like that, but I gotta get on that now. But here's the thing: this isn't easy A or B. I know. That's what's gonna boost you. TJ has a really rough story. And when his dad went to prison, he was probably angry and upset, and he started acting out. And instead of, at that point, getting counseling and getting help to redirect you know, his emotions into something positive, he was told that he was like his dad. You told me that he was getting out soon. Oh, yeah, he getting out in, like, I think one more year. I think, a two more. I don't know, I just pray that he get out early. My uncle's supposed to be coming home, too, so they might come home at the same time. We might have a big party for them. Your uncle's in prison? You didn't tell me your uncle was. His, your dad's brother? My mama, only brother. What happened there? Drugs. That makes me nervous. It's easy to get caught up in that stuff, especially in high school. You are paying attention to that stuff, right? Yes. Cause that's what my daddy told me. He said he don't want me to make that, that same mistake he made. And my uncle, I just talked to him another day, and he was like, I'll jack you up if I ever catch you doing what I was doing. My father been locked up for six or seven years. But you know what they say about kids who father went to jail? They gonna go to jail too. That's not gonna happen to me. So you really need to stay on these grades, and that's part of like being an advocate for yourself. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, that's your next class, so you need to stay up on these. Yes. Gotcha. Okay? I'm sorry, did you call the student by on me? I called the student I'll be on me. Mm -hmm. She's not in class. What class was that? Mr. Lewis, private stats. So, so she's not in class. Okay. All units, if you see by on me, please radio me. Discipline, man. It's a day-to-day -day grind. Right. Hey, Miss Lewis, did by on me come to class? Fourth bell? I haven't seen him. 
The majority of it is a lack of focus. Young lady, young lady, where were you in your fourth block? Who checked you out? She knew who checked me out. My mama came and got me. She signed you out in the front off? I went out that way. You got to sign out. You can't just leave school. So you know I'm going to verify that with your mom this morning, right? OK. I have found myself on that verge of losing patience with some of our students. Yesterday, you didn't do what's right. Because I left school early with my mama? No. You don't give me an attitude. I'm the wrong one to give the attitude. All right, well, why do you think I'm the principal? Listen, I'm the principal, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So what you need to do right now is pump your brakes. You need to calm yourself down. I'm calm. No, you're not. I'm very calm. No, you're not, because you're about to take me up here where you are. And I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want that. You don't want me to be up where you are. And that's not a win-win scenario when you've got a teacher agitated and a child agitated. That frustrates me. All right, I'll be, you know I'm around the hallways and everywhere else. All right. They said something, they was like, um, they said something Merle left or whatever. And I was like, what? I did that. I was like, what? And then Your I just walked. turned like that? I was like, what? In my face. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Vernon has been living with me for about six months, maybe. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, mom cooked. Bree came, picked me up from work, and was like, he has nowhere to go, so what was I to do? I couldn't just leave him out on the streets. You know, he had nowhere to go. It wasn't much of a big deal. Yeah, it really wasn't. It's not like we have a house full of, oh, no, we can't have no more people here. No. No. I know since we moved here, he's always seemed troubled, you know? Like, you could tell there wasn't much structure wherever he was. I feel like I never had this type of support before. Like, I had the support, but I just didn't feel like I had it. And, like, Shanika, like, she makes me feel like I have that support because she's not going to tell me nothing wrong. She's always going to tell me the truth, and she's going to give it to you nice, nasty, and raw. <laughs> he snuck out one night, and I made him sleep outside. Like, because you left out of my house. You left my door unlocked. Bree was upstairs. She didn't even know you were gone. So, yeah, when I got home, I locked my doors, and I locked you out. And it was freezing. And she was like, you better not let him in, or you'll be out there, too. I was like, him. sorry, buddy, you have to take this ill by yourself. He was throwing rocks at <laughs> Bree's window. Because she only wants the best for me. She doesn't want me to be a statistic. That's the only thing. She doesn't want me or Bree to be a statistic. And she just wants us to be adults, basically, and just be focused and be more responsible. Vernon is... He's a work in progress. He really is. But he's come a long way. I think if I had maybe two more years with him, he would be OK. <laughs> Straighten up. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's trying. He really is. He's really trying. Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. Welcome to the middle of another week. This is our 31st week in our turnaround transformation process. Following announcements, the lip sync contest tickets are $3 and will only be sold at lunch on Thursday. This event, hosted by Rendell Middleton, also known as LL Cool J, in the lip sync contest will be Chauncey Pam as Jennifer Hudson, Miss Johnson as Mary J. Blige, Amanda Charlie, and many, many more acts. Today, remember peace and tranquility. Have a great day. Yo, what's the problem? He always realizes he's wrong after the scenario. 
once you pull a trigger, like the bullet's out of the gun. And I can only do so much. Okay, the student took pencil from another student. I imagine that's TJ. Yes, yeah, TJ. Some words were exchanged between the two students, and TJ hit the other student. Punched him in the face, causing the nose laceration, and we don't know whether his nose is broken or not. Two other referrals using profanity in the classroom. On the way outside the classroom, use profanity again. Keeps doing this. Now he's punching people. Yeah. So. When he comes to me and he knows he's getting, you know, hot, I can calm him down. But my concern is when I'm not there, that somebody. So what's your gut say. telling you? Uh, what's so funny is he said, "I want you to do what your brain's telling you to do." That's what he told mm -hmm. you. Academically, he's good. It's that anger part. Um, so. We got to put a stop to the behavior or else the other students are gonna see that he's still around. Yeah. And we gotta do some paperwork on him today. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hello? Hey, may I speak to a parent or guardian of TJ? This is she. Good, listen, I wanted to call because I I did a little more investigating um, and I wanted you to know that he, he had three referrals and then he started using profanity with them and told him now that it's not Black History Month, you don't give an F about ends anymore. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to put him 10 days recommendation and they will set a hearing date for him to go before the board to determine, you know, his placement, if he'll be able to come back to OW um, or if there might be some other alternative setting for him. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. That one's probably the hardest one all year. I don't think we've had any kids that have come back when they've been recommended for expulsion. They're either going over to the alternative school or they're completely expelled. Can't come to school at all. I just know how he is. He's pegged himself like he's a bad kid. He's not that kid, but in his mind, it's like he's, he keeps telling himself he is. I can't be doing these things. Man, I'm, I know my mom would want me to take care of her and stuff. I saw tears come on her eyes. That's why I wish I was at school. But I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed. I, I can't say that much. I'm, he, he knows that I'm, I'm disappointed because education is everything. Now he's in jeopardy of going to alternative school, which is a school for kids that's constantly in trouble. It is what it is. My situation might get worse if I go there because people going to start bothering me. And I ain't going to like that. That's why I don't want to go to tennis school. I don't want to go to tennis school because I believe I'm going to get in even more trouble. They don't want him to get kicked out from school, but it's, it's not their decision. So now he's out of school. He's suspended for 10 days. He has to go before the board. And that's why I tell him he's going to be put in that bunch. He's not a really bad job, but they're going to they gonna labor him. Hand and making sure you, you do this and do that, the, the, that comes with growing up. You're a teenager now. You, you know right from wrong. Responsibilities. I painted these, they was yellow. And now they green. I'm gonna paint them again. You can turn bad stuff into good stuff, to be honest. And what I mean by that is like, you can have a bad kid and teach him better and he'll get good. You can have a beat up pair of shoes, paint over that brand new shoe. Being a parent is, is gonna be a big adjustment because when you are a parent, you have the ultimate responsibility of raising that child. And when you're young, you're still trying to find your own way, much less growing up and becoming more responsible as a man. That's life. You've heard me say it before. Get over this hump, it's another one. So you need to take your butt home, bottom line. And not only that, how many brothers you got at the house? Four. Four. Mama can preach all day long, but little brother's gonna do what they see big brother do. 
Big brother don't do right in school, little brother ain't gonna do right. Cause why? Cause you the cool, you they figure, you who they wanna be in life, all right? So go on and do what you gotta do. Take a butt back home, all right? When you talk to mom, mom wants to give Rendell everything he needs in life to be successful, but mom also wants to give him responsibility. And mom also wants him to be realistic. And mom also wants him to be a man. I have a strict mom. Most of the stuff that, you know, people my age are allowed to do, I'm not allowed to do. My friends have strict parents, and um, I think it just, it betters you. I know that she's my mother, and she knows that I'm her son. And I will always respect her, but I don't know. We don't have that bond like how we used to. My mother had to play both of the roles. She had to be a, a father and a mother. If my mom wasn't there to pop my hand or pop my behind, then I would have been off the walls right now. My mama, you bump here sometime. Come on. Come on, you ready to go night-night? But she ain't going to night-night? But it's like, I'm not a hot head when I'm ready to just give myself time to cool off. What's up, dog? What's up, bro? So you come, you come home right around about time. I'm glad you came back home, son. Mm -hmm. You know this ain't over, though, right? You do know that you're not a little boy, right? And if me, your mother, I feel like I should be able to say whatever I want to say to y'all when it comes to my kids. It doesn't work like that, man. It does. It don't. It does. Man. It does. Because let me tell you something. Just because you got a child don't mean you're a man. I never said that. I don't right, understand that. All right, then. I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. Rita, I'm not tolerating disrespect, man. Like, you're not tolerating. You don't know what no, disrespect is. From no person at but all. But you don't know what disrespect is. I do, man. I'm not slow, man. Okay, so let me ask you. Old, okay, man. 17 year old man. See, there's certain things that I expect from you that I just don't see you doing yet. And I feel that you should be doing by now. Yeah, I get angry sometimes and I do curse at you, but why? If you want the respect that a man gets, then go do something that a man do. What? Like what? I'm just saying. What you saying though? Get yourself together. Like what? Everything. Be specific. Everything. Uh, what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about life, period. Period. Oh, no, this this say, got listen, it. listen, it got a whole lot to do with it because you say that if anybody disrespect you, they're going to get disrespected back. That's what you said, right? Did you not say that? Yeah. And I told you in the real world, you're going to be disrespected a lot. I'm not. I'm not. That's what you fail to realize. If you don't tolerate disrespect, you're not going to get disrespected. That's just like if somebody coming off the streets and he come in your face and he said, why, why, I don't like you. Why, why, such, 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 I don't like so you, I don't deal with you. In my face. Okay, he probably won't, but I'm just saying, so you don't, you can't say, you I mean, cannot. You come in my face, I'm gonna die about it. See what I'm talking about? You really not understand that No, right you now, really not understanding. I raised you better than that. You want respect? Give it. You give it, you will get it. You are soon to be an 18-year-old father. You're about to have a child. And hopefully when Harmony get here and you be a part of her life like you're supposed to be, you gonna know where I'm coming from. If you want better, you do better. I got the type of parents where like, they show tough love. So it's like, like you gotta remain the same person through everything. You gotta stay home. So my brothers can see that too. I got to type of mommy and daddy. They can talk all the trash in the world, but they ain't going to let you go down. Not if they see you trying, they ain't going to let you go down. I took the car, me driving it, with no license. And then the car broke down when I was in it, so the finger was pointing at me. Everything is my fault, like, it's my fault. I should have been more smart. I should have been thinking before I started acting. OK, so what happened today around 2.30? Oh, gosh. 
Okay. Well, basically, I just had asked Breezy for the keys so I can get something out of the car. And then that's when I was like, oh, God. And that's when I seen my two friends or whatever. And they was like, oh, they wanted to go to Zach's reason. I was like, oh, I'm headed that way. So what made you drive recall with no license and with two passengers in the car? And who was those dummies? Oh, those was friends. You know, if you would have got stopped by the police, I was reporting it stolen automatically because I don't know nothing about it. Bree don't know nothing about you got her car with no license. Y'all going to jail. Yes, ma'am. Because y'all in a stolen car. What if you had hit somebody? <laughs> then what? Well, I can't really say because I know, like, I was being careful. No, you wasn't because you ran the red light. Just so happened I ride up. So had I been at work, I could have been at work not knowing what's going on. You got to think beyond that moment. Responsibility. You have to be responsible for you. I feel bad that I did it, but I can't go back in time and change it, so... There it is. I guess he said what he had to say, and she took it all in. What can I say? Vernon is like a brother to me, but my mother is my mother. This time right here, I can't save you. You do rock over there? Come here. It's life. I ain't gonna be the first two to happen to I ain't gonna be the last. So, I'm play whatever cards do to me. The shower is about harmony. It's about love. Children coming into the world, it takes a village to raise a child. We are that village, and I look forward to all of you helping us raise harmony. Oh my God. <laughs> she 18, she pregnant. Like, me being her boyfriend, I know she wanted to go to school, out of state. I know there's a lot of more things she probably didn't want to do, but for the decision we made, we got to sacrifice certain things. So that's a lot to put up as an 18-year-old. Thank you. They will begin opening gifts. I will not read your entire card. I will just let you know what family or person the gift is from. Sound is. This is from Ashton. <laughs> from the godmother, Monica Brown. I would like to thank everybody for coming. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate everybody for coming today and everything here about the bride. Um, appreciate supporting us and everything. I mean, she's probably nervous about the process. There's any female who ain't never had a daughter, uh, that's a scary process. All right, y'all ready? Um, Ramani, for you to smile. We hey, gonna y'all do this making all me day. feel famous, bro. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Get together and make it closer. I'm telling you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I like that. My you teacher like that. first. You know, family, they only gonna want the best for you. Okay, what about you got, you got the big picture of you, right? Yeah. I'm trying to hold on to, like, the positive side as well. I don't got an ever 17 year old lifestyle. My daughter not really here yet. But uh, it's gonna get real when she get here. All radio holders to the cafeteria, big 1083. All radio holders to the cafeteria, multiple 1083. Now the beat is on. Could you meet me in the front office? 10-4. Block this whole area off. Don't let nobody go out this door. Mr. Lee, see, that's how the people come. They go in the class. This is when they start. See where they come from. 
Oh, there she go right there, standing around. She said, oh, Lord. That's her with the blue and, mm -hmm. and yeah, OK. Oh, yeah, man, this is ridiculous. Take three to get rid of that one. OK, so that's the first fight that broke out. Right. There you go, Mr. Dixon. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. And then something else happened. Right. So there was a period of time in between the, the first fight and the second one? And then all of a sudden, I see somebody pull Emma right back. Uh -huh. She fights to get loose. We had already broke these mm -hmm. two up. And so something happened after that, too? She walked up and hit somebody. I don't know. What a fiasco. This is a school. It's not a wrestling ring. It's not a boxing match. It's a school. When I saw the huge brawl between multiple girls, I was literally almost sick at my stomach. I was appalled. To the degree that I sometimes wonder during times like that whether I am in the right place doing the right things for our children. It makes you personally reflect deeply on, can I make a difference? Please excuse this interruption. Very seldom will you hear my voice over the PA system doing instructional time, but I think it is necessary for the students today to hear my voice in reference to the morning that we've had at OW. How disappointing it is to me as your leader who tries along with your teachers and those with whom you live to try to establish a better pathway for your life. But I will tell you that those students who were involved directly and indirectly will receive the harshest punishment possible. You will not see them here at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your adjustment of the behavior that is expected at OW. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total of 11 students. Um, has not been final yet, but I believe those all 11 students will be recommended for exposure. Another bill on me. I told you. No. I don't say stuff just to be saying it. Every time I think you're getting it, you show me you're really not getting it. No, 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 no. Thursday night. What a night. I'm telling you, everything you do from now on is on you. My mom told Vernon that he had to go. And she told me that when she was talking to him. He didn't come off as apologetic. So that's when she said that he had to go. She put me out, but I understood why she put me out. Shanika said it was hurting her to see me hurting because she loved me like I'm her own child. And that made me like, cry even more because I feel like Shanika is the mother that I like always wanted and I never had. Never know what the future holds. I got to go to the district and see if they're going to let me back in school. And it is time, children of God, that each of us make up our minds that it is better to be in the house of the Lord than anywhere else. Do I believe in second chances? I honestly do. I pray for God that I get back in school. And I know that my mom, she will be there defending. Hallelujah. I'm so glad mommy is here. Amen. I'm going to ask God to forgive me for this one because I'm really lost, you know?
kids who've been recommended. They've either been sent to the alternative school or they have been completely expelled. It scares me a little bit about the alternative school. He would be in the mix with children who don't have the best of intentions sometimes. I got to go in there, talk to him. You're a little nervous. Tell him what? Do I got to do? It's my first time experiencing this. Never been through this before. And I'm planning on going back. You feeling nervous? Mm. A little bit. <laughs> We're here. Here goes nothing. I think with what he has, I think he I think he has a chance at coming back. I'm scared. I don't want to be a failure. Why don't you want to In God's hand. He's not a bad kid. Several of you still talking, I don't know why. I've got the mic up to my mouth. I will tell you, as your principal, I did not like what I saw. There has to be a certain standard. There has to be a boundary. There has to be a line that you don't cross. I don't care how much fun you think you had, who laughed at you. When you cross that line, there's a consequence on the other side. I'm going to tell y'all something. You need to wake up. Because that world out there isn't going to give you an opportunity to cross too many of those boundaries. And because you think that this kind of behavior is normal concerns me. Vernon. Vernon, come here. So listen, Vernon took advantage of an opportunity when attention could be directed to him, right? He did something that I don't agree with. And are y'all gonna listen or are you gonna respond? Are you gonna listen or are you gonna respond? We're trying to teach you to have a standard. And before this year is over, one way or another, you're gonna get my message. I am so disappointed in what you decided to do. You could have stood up and danced without being raunchy. And that, that wasn't cool. You do that at a college that you go to and see if they don't put you out of school. Seriously, that was wrong of you to do it here today. It was wrong. I was praying for my daddy to get out of jail early. You got that some trouble? Not some trouble. Me? I was praying that I get back in school. Is 
she got me on the ground, was kicking me. I, you can, there's a video probably somewhere. You can see what everything happened. What else God got planned? Well, what's the plan? <laughs>